Hi, in this tutorial we're going to go ahead and learn how to restore a backup of an account on your server. So for example, one of your hosting customers says they made a mistake and they would like their website to look as it did yesterday. We're going to go ahead and uh, restore that one. So first thing is I'm going to find that account. So we're going to go to the home and we'll go under account information list accounts the account I am looking for is called audio blazer and that's this one right here so the name for that account is audio blah that's the default name that cPanel gave it but let's go ahead and terminate that account So we have audio blah. We're going to go ahead and terminate that account since we have a backup. Please only do this if you only have a backup of that account and you run regular backups on your system. Are you sure? Yes, I am sure. We will delete it. The account has been deleted. So what we'll do next is check. We're going to restore a backup, but as you see here, there's no backup of that account, Audio Blazer. So what we'll do is we'll FTP, FTP into the machine as root, and then we'll go under Backups, cPanel Backup, and you can either do a, either grab the daily, monthly, or weekly backup of it. We'll grab the daily of it. Do, do, do. Right there is the audio. As you see here is the backup of the account. And what we'll do is we'll just FTP that over real quick. And then what we're going to do is we're going to move that to the home directory. Backups are not stored in the home directory. So you're going to have to manually move them and that's what we're doing right now. So, let's find, there it is. Now we move it over there. Now the backup, the zip file, is in our home directory. Now we'll go back to home and we will restore. And there, now you can see that it is located in the home directory. And we are able to restore that account. So what we do is I take the name before the dot tar dot gz, just take that name, copy it, paste it into here, and then we will click on the restore tab. <clears throat> this will work if you're using WHMCS or any other account. It's not going to change anything. All it will do is restore the account to the previous day or your last backup, or if you're using the weekly or monthly backup, whichever backup you want to use. So now, as we see, the account has been restored and it's complete. It's very simple. Thank you.